So I just put out my uh, album, and um, if you go to afterenemy.com, you can check the EPK video on that homepage. This is uh, done using the theme options video player. Uh, I'll just give you a quick peek at that. If you go to the back end of the EPK and click on theme options, go to uh, the video tab and um, check off video and just throw in your FLV uh, URL in there. And you can select a uh, thumbnail as well. Set the uh, video dimensions and that's what I've got here. So if you look at the bottom, my uh, bottom left widget is empty. I'm going to throw in an album cover thumbnail that links to iTunes there. So just go to my uh, widgets section there, grab a uh, text widget what are we got here? An arbitrary or HTML widget. I'm gonna throw in some HTML code. Uh, if you don't know how to write HTML code, it's no biggie. Just go to um, a poster page and um, use the editor there to generate the code. Uh, for now, I'll post a title called "By Now," and um, we'll check off automatically add paragraphs. Uh, I just do that so that the, the text is nicely spaced if there is any. Could have it. Um, I'm going to go back to my home page, refresh that, scroll down. Okay, see, so there was the title um, in the bottom left widget. If I want to get an image out of there, I would go to uh, my media library. So just click on media on the left sidebar. And if you haven't already uploaded your album cover, you can do so by clicking on add new. And then I'll bring you over to. Uh, the uploader where you select your file and upload which whatever you like. So um, I'm going to grab barcode just to show you quickly. Uh, that gets uploaded and um, just click on save all changes if you want to like rename the title or something like that. But there, this brings you back to the media library. I uploaded my cover. So that's there. Um, if I wanted to quickly get the um, image URL, I would click on edit and towards the bottom here would be the URL for my image. So I grab that and uh, go back over to my widgets. And I'm going to throw that link in there. Okay. Now this needs to get wrapped with uh, an image tag for uh, an actual image display. I'm just going to click on save there for now to put that there uh, for safe keeping. And um, I'm going to go back to, say, posts. Now that I've uploaded my uh, media, I can add a new post. And I'm just doing this to get the code for that uh, widget. I'm going to go into my content area and then click the uh, image uploader icon, which is just that little square icon next to upload slash insert. And I have a media library. And there's my cover. So I'm going to show that. Now I've got these dimensions. 150, 300, these are all set up in your uh, general WordPress settings. I'm just going to insert that into the post. Um, you'll see this was the URL that I copied earlier, but if I insert this into the post as a thumbnail, you'll notice that the URL is actually 150 by 150. That's what's been uh, suffixed to the file name to separate it from the uh, full version. This is the thumbnail version. Anyway, I'm going to grab uh, all that code or actually I see that that's wrong so I'm going to go switch over to the visual mode. To make sure that you have the actual uh, iTunes link on this, you're just going to select the image and uh, click on this little chain which is your link image and replace that link URL with your uh, iTunes URL. So if you just go to your iTunes uh, product page and grab the link you just paste that in place uh, target will make that open a uh, new window and hit update and then we'll go to the HTML mode grab that code whoops grab that code move over to widgets and then this we'll just navigate away from that page I'm not going to publish it open up this uh, widget and this will just get replaced with that Save that. Then we'll go back to the home page, refresh, 
and there's uh, my thumbnail, which links right over to iTunes. Now, if I want to like make that a little smaller, quick fix is to go back to the widgets and just uh, say delete. I mean, you can just change these numbers. Uh, you don't need them both if it's, say, perfect square. I'm just going to go width and make that 110. I believe that's a standard um, Facebook profile pic. So refresh that. And yeah, that's a little better. Here's the album thumbnail. Click on that and go back iTunes. Notice a few more things. Um, that title, it said by now, uh, made it a little more descriptive. It says iTunes now. Uh, you can do that by just changing the title up here, right? And um, we'll change the size. Oh, yeah. If I hover on this, I get this little pop up that says cover. If I go back to widgets, you see this title there? Just change that to standing still, which is the album name. Save that, refresh, and now when I hover, it says standing still. In fact, I think I'll probably make that a little longer. Say, by standing still. Careful of those quotes on iTunes. Save that. Um, I'm going to throw in only 792. Save that. Refresh. Scroll down. And by standing still on iTunes, only 792. Yeah. If I click on that, it goes there. Yeah, that works.